This is a moth. It kind of looks like a butterfly, but they're different in many ways. And today, we're going to learn all about them. Insects that fly at night and are related to butterflies. Moths have been around for over 190 million years, making them older than dinosaurs. There are over 160,000 different types of moths in the world, which is a lot. Moths have furry or hairy antennae on their heads, unlike the straight antennae of butterflies. Many moths are attracted to lights at night, like street lamps or your porch light. And if you've ever been outside near a light at night, you will see them flying around. A moth starts as a tiny egg, then becomes a caterpillar, then a cocoon, and finally a moth. Some moth caterpillars can damage crops, clothes, and food because they like to eat them. Some moths are huge, with wings as big as dinner plates. Moths help pollinate flowers and are food for animals like bats, birds, and spiders. Some types of moths, like the gypsy moth, can cause problems when they get into new areas. Moths have special tricks to protect themselves, like camouflage to blend in, fake eye spots to scare predators, and even making sounds we can't hear. And moths use this camouflage to blend in and look like bark, leaves, or other things that a predator would not want to eat. Moths are built stronger than butterflies and have tiny hairs all over their bodies to keep them warm at night. Wait, they're stronger? Yeah. They work out? No. So how are they stronger? Uh... Oh, it's because of the hairs. <laughs> That's why I'm so strong. <laughs> oh, I wish I had arms so I could flex. <laughs> Moths are more active at night, while butterflies are more active during the daytime. Some moths, called hawk moths, can hover like hummingbirds and drink flower nectar while flying. And moths use special smells to help find their mates that are far away from them. The luna moth is one of the most beautiful, with long tails on its back wings and a bright green color. Moths have a long, hollow tongue called a proboscis, and that lets them drink flower nectar and other liquids. Some moths, like clothes moths, can actually eat materials like wool, feathers, and even human hair. So I guess I'm safe. Yeah. I might have hair, but it ain't human. <laughs> but you, on the other hand, can you not? Uh oh. And certain moths, like silkworms, are raised by people to make silk thread. And the last fact is the smallest moth in the world, the pygmy moth, has a wingspan that's smaller than a pencil eraser. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know just a little bit more about moths. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.